yard haunt update. So today, we were able to add a few things. Last night, I totally botched um, coming out here and filming an update. I fell asleep on the couch. I've just been super exhausted from the haunted house, but we were able to get out here and do some stuff. But as you can tell, it is raining and it's really, really cold out here. Uh, I've been trying to film multiple different videos because I have to get these videos done before Halloween and I've been um, sick and haven't been able to talk for about a week. I lost my voice. Uh, so I've been in talks with these companies, letting them know, hey, I'm sick. I'm not just blowing you off. I am actually sick, um, you know, so I've been trying to piece these videos together to make them for these companies that have sent me stuff. Um, I, I'm not trying to burn all my bridges. I'm trying to let them know, hey, I'm actually really sick. I'm still getting over it. Uh, today, just before this video, I've been having coughing fits. So we're trying to uh, get this stuff done so these companies are happy. The one company wanted the video today and I just yeah, I couldn't get it done. So it is what it is. But I did want to get out here and film an update, but it is really cold and raining. Um, I don't enjoy the cold very much. Um, so with me being sick still, I don't want to be out here too terribly long. So I want to knock out this yard haunt update for you guys. So in the back, we have all of our candles. And it looks pretty cool with the candles, honestly. And we still have the burning effect going on. The scarecrow in the back there. We have brand new batteries in the pumpkin puck in the lantern for the grave digger in the back. And then we have a couple new things out here, which we will get to. I need to put new batteries in the pumpkin puck for this little pumpkin beside our grave digger down here, the crouching one. We still have guard zombie and our scarecrow here. Still have dark princess, which she's not on just because of the storms. Um, our reaper he's still standing here but tonight's edition is we carved our own jack-o-lanterns so down here my youngest daughter had some help with carving a kitty cat and here my wife carved this guy but you can't hear let me block the light it's a skull with a candle uh, over like a bookshelf or something and then my oldest daughter carved this one over here. It says trick or treat. But we thought putting them in the yard would be cooler than putting them off to the side of the house. To give it that like trick or treat movie vibe. And then <coughs> over here, I carved this big, huge mamma jamma. I just did a classic jack-o'-lantern and yeah i think that, that's probably my favorite one i can't wait till that big bastard rots because he's gonna look super cool um hoping to mold that i even carved it from the bottom so the top won't fall in it's gonna be really cool so other than that um i did do something else over here but our lanterns are on their last leg do over here we put out new candles too i did put one of those candles inside of mine oh i added a candle over here on that tombstone and we have all this stuff here tonight's newest addition as well is something from my daughter we got a bluey inflatable which she loves it so we got that for her But well, we still have the Boogeyman, Freddy and Jason. We got Michael Myers up there and our 12 foot skeleton. We have my Groundbreaker. We have our Grave Robber. We have Demonica, the Beetlejuice tombstone. This tombstone here from Home Depot with our candle next to the gravedigger. 
Now this grave digger, I know the other night I said I was going to change things up, so I did. I took the orange light away and put a white light on him. I think that looks much better. And I just tried to hardcore uplight him to um, get some different, like to highlight him or something, just to make him stand out. And I think I accomplished that. Here we still have our caretaker. We have Bates Motel Granny. And then we have all these tombstones here. I added another candle over here for Billy Butcherson. In the back we have our headless horseman and this murderous maple tree has spun around mainly because the other day it was super windy and I had to put a pole in the ground and huh, I had to put these huge zip ties which you see sticking off the sides of it to uh, keep this thing upright I did not want it to bend and every time I've turned it it kept turning this way so apparently it likes to be facing this way with the wind because the wind kept blowing it this direction so we're gonna leave it where it sits so that's what uh, that's what we did so we added a couple candles we added some brand new um, Uh, jack lanterns out here which are hand carved brain like fresh pumpkins that we picked at a pumpkin patch but I really like I really like the ones my kids did the, the kitty cat and um, the trick-or-treat mine's just classic Halloween everyone everyone here always gives me crap because they do all these fancy elaborate ones and i do this plain jane jack-o'-lanterns and usually i do the old vintage jack-o'-lantern with the circle eyes and the weird stitched mouth and uh but this year i did the the one right there in the center old school uh classic jack-o'-lantern um nothing nothing fancy just perfect she's like let's just put them in the front yard i said okay uh, i'm just doing a regular old jack-o'-lantern then and that candle that uh, i use over here for the like uh, tombstones is what I put in there and it worked out perfect so view from the road uh, we, this is this is pretty much our setup our trick-or-treat is not this weekend but next weekend so this is uh, this is pretty much what the uh, yard display is gonna be this year I was hoping to do a lot more get a lot more stuff done but they are um, just right down the street getting ready to head this way for the gas line install so I uh, don't know. I'm hoping uh, they don't make it down here before trick-or-treat gets here. But anyway, we have Guard Zombie, the Scarecrow, the Big Reaper, the Grave Robbers, um, everything Murder Smable, which she does look cool facing this way. But yeah, lots of blue this year for the graveyard. Everything here is uh, is really blue but i've wanted to come out here from the road to see the grave digger and he looks very well lit um murderous maple behind him is kind of killing the the whole thing there because she's turned this way facing outward with the lights but um yeah i think it's uh looking pretty pretty cool man uh to be to be totally honest with you i wish i could have went a little more in depth on a lot of this stuff but hey I, uh, the beginning of this haunt season was hectic with uh, vending shows and then right after that i ran right into haunt season um and i've been full full tilt into the halloween and haunted house so um yeah this is this is what we got I know it's not very crazy and, and walk through and all that. I would love to love to do a walk through one year, uh, but we just don't have the room for that here. I don't have much yard to do a walk through or the wind would absolutely freaking destroy it. So I don't really care to do that. <laughs> to be totally honest, the wind would just wreck everything that I have set up. And like I said, I also don't have the yard 
and our trick or treats only an hour i mean i could set it up to maybe i have like on the weekends but i work a haunted house so i'm not here on the weekends so uh this is why i just opt to do just a display in the front yard but it's crazy to think that in like three weeks this all comes down it's super sad um because i love seeing all the lights and stuff in my yard so when it all comes down everything goes back to being crushed and normal nothing in the front yard no cool lights no cool animatronics no new things it's that depressing part of the year where you realize that we're halfway through it um we wait all year to get to spooky season now's our time to shine and it comes and goes so fast because we're even halfway at the haunted house and we go to the first weekend in november and we're halfway done which is crazy to me that we're even this far into the year already it's already middle of october which blows my mind time is flying by so that's it that's going to be today's update i appreciate you guys thank you all for watching and let me know what i should change or tweak or mess with what would you guys add or mess around with out here and i'll catch you guys tomorrow